is a non-title casket match. Introducing first, from Greenwich, Connecticut, weighing in at 272 pounds, he is the World Heavyweight Champion, Triple A! The game is on, but this is not a game the World Heavyweight Champion is ready to play. Yeah, Triple H's security blanket, Ric Flair, is not here tonight. is personal. It's not about titles here tonight. It's all about Kane getting some retribution from a morbidly disgusting human being. And why exactly is Triple H morbidly disgusting? Because of the disgusting, salacious videotape that he aired last week on this broadcast. He gets out of trouble there. Oh man, that knee looked painful. Triple H knows how to polish off an opponent. These two men are no strangers to battling each other in some rather unique match types. Of course, nobody will ever forget their inferno match just a few years ago on SmackDown. Yeah, these two guys couldn't warm up to each other if they were cremated together. How could you ever forget witnessing a superstar's arm going up in flames like Kane's did? What a clothesline by Kane! at the force behind that leg drop. Big trouble for Kane. Oh, wait, nice reversal. And he gets out of the way. Snake eyes. Kane providing a substantial beatdown. Earlier tonight, we saw Triple H telling whoever he was talking to on the other end of the phone to hurry to the arena. Who do you think the game could have been talking to, Kane? Well, my best guess is woo, Ric Flair. When you see Triple H, the Nature Boy is sure to follow. He was able to reverse that. What's the game going to do here? Ouch! Oh, the punch connects. Boy, he was able to reverse it. Get out of that. This could be huge. And K 
Kane manages to reverse out of that one. Great reversal. He's putting those educated feet to good use. The game avoids trouble there. Yeah, Triple H saw that one coming a mile away. I don't know what Katie Vick ever saw in Kane. He must have had a cool car or something. That's the only reason she'd ever go out with him. Are you kidding me, Kane? We're watching two of the six men that will be in the Elimination Chamber at Survivor Series, and you're talking about Kane's car? Well, the Elimination Chamber is going to be something else. I had a chance to see the blueprint. It's absolutely unreal. This is the first casket match on Monday Night Raw since 1999. How great is this, Cole? May 17th, 1999. Undertaker defeated The Rock, and Kane scores with a tremendous move. Oh, you have to wonder what Katie Vick's family was thinking. Oh, oh, oh. And Kane is going to put Triple H away. Oh. Triple H still goes down low. And now Triple H looking for the pedigree. Oh, yeah. And he got it. Pedigree by Triple H. That casket is open. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Look at this. Who is in the casket? Shawn Michaels is in the casket. Heartbreak Kid was in the casket. Hate me, Kane comes out of the casket to become Triple H's worst nightmare. Get him out. We haven't seen Shawn Michaels since SummerSlam. Oh, he's back. Michaels is feeling it. Oh, look at this. Tune it up the band. Yeah. Oh, sweet chin music. The Heartbreak Kid center stage. The showstopper to stop the show for Triple H. Boy, there's no way he's going to be able to stand after that. And now look at this. Into the casket. He's almost got him. Trying to save himself. And now back to his feet. Triple H looking for some big impact. He saw that one coming. A sharp kick. No, not again. Kane with a reversal. Wow, I am really impressed with Kane's quickness here. And there's the reversal. Man, Triple H, what offense. And he reversed it. Good move there. Triple H cannot beat Kane in a fair fight. There's no way in hell the game can beat Kane in a fair fight. Well, this is a fair fight, isn't it? And he's not beating him either, is he? What a counter that was! Symbolic. 